The MetaQuest 2 is a powerful extended reality headset that allows users to experience a wide range of immersive content, including web browsing. There are a number of different web browsers available for the MetaQuest 2, ranging from traditional 2D browsers to more immersive XR browsers. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at some of the most popular web browsers for the MetaQuest 2, including the hybrid MetaQuest browser, Microsoft Edge, Opera GX, Wolvic, Reality Browser, and a few more. We'll be discussing the features and capabilities of each browser, as well as the pros and cons of using them on the MetaQuest 2. So stay with us as we explore the wide world of web browsing on the MetaQuest 2 and discover the best options for browsing the web in extended reality. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be going over a bunch of different web browsers that you can use with the Quest 2 headset. Um, so let me just get this out of the way. about that the desktop vision I was just using just now to uh, to get to the computer I don't really care for it a whole lot actually um, so you guys are probably all pretty familiar with the MetaQuest browser I assume right the good old built-in browser it's cool it does all right you can flip into uh, WebXR apps with it and out and that's kind of great um, there are a few things that don't work well you can download uh, files with it but there's no installer and it doesn't really give you a pro progress bar for downloads unless you go physically into this little area and look up the download section also kind of a bummer and kind of a pain in the butt so while I do appreciate um, the MetaQuest browser for some things like playing Moonrider XYZ, you know, and being able to use it in pass through mode and being able to open up multiple occurrences of it, which I would think that other uh, browsers would be able to do if they were allowed to. Um, it, it's just lacking some features and some functionality that I'm that I that I prefer to have. So my go-to usually in VR when I just want to get regular stuff done on the web in VR my usual go-to is the Edge browser from Microsoft this browser is basically Chrome okay but it won't bitch at you about needing a Google Play services to run Okay, Chrome, when you try to install Chrome onto your Quest 2, it's going to tell you that uh, you need Google Play services in order for it to run properly. And, you know, that just doesn't seem very, very cool to me. Now, one thing I do really like about the Edge browser is that if we go someplace like um, APK Pure, go to apkpure.com and we want to download something from here sure I agree we can pick out an app right from the browser let's just uh, see if I can find something that I don't have on the headset right now that I'd like to Let's try Opera. I don't have the normal Opera browser on here yet, and I would like to get it on here. All right, now, of course, it wants an XAPK, which is a problem. That means we have to download that from... Uh, <laughs> we have to download that with the APK Pure app in order to use that. So let's try UC Browser. This one probably won't even work on the headset, but 
I wanted to get a chance to show you guys just what can be done. Now, here we go. We've got a standard APK. So we can stay in the Microsoft app. Try this again. Oops, there we go. Yep, I want to download that file. It gave me a nice pop up. It, yep, it might be harmful. We're going to download it anyways. Now, see, there's a pop up right here. It asks if I want to look at the details. It's, the download is complete. Okay, now let's go ahead and click on that. And it's asking if we want to install it. And we can install it straight here, right here in the headset and it's installed, I think. What's the matter? Don't get rough, honey, you gotta be careful. Oh, I think I actually hit the, the, the cancel button. App not installed. Well, I didn't think that one was gonna work. Let's go back over here and we'll try another one. About apps. Or is there anything I really want? Blocky patch, blue box, Google Photos, TikTok. It just gets worse and worse. It's like everybody's top everything is some suck. Quick shortcut maker. This probably won't work, but we can create shortcuts quickly and launch your favorite actions quickly. Shortcuts for both apps and programs on your mobile phones is totally free and easy to use. Wouldn't that be neat if that worked? Just stay in the Microsoft Edge. Yeah, download it. Download it anyway. We like to live dangerously. Go to details. Quick shortcut maker is downloaded. There was a problem parsing this file. Oh, we are just failing every which way. Well, here, I want to do this anyways, because I need to do this for um, another video. So, last time I taught you guys uh, how to install VMOS Pro, I told you to go here to the APK Pure Store. It is my go-to for most things if I can't get them from the source. VMOS happens to be an application that you can install directly from the vmos.com website. And if we're going to go get an app that isn't on the Play Store, or th that we can't get to on the, on the Play Store because of, you know, the lack of Google Play services on our headset, vmos.com <clears throat> if you can get it from the website where it's available definitely do so what we want guys is vmos pro download ignore this vmos download get this vmos pro download right here click on that bad boy yeah download it again because I've already downloaded it absolutely let's look at the details got about seven seconds left I would not, oops, yes, install VMOS Pro. Now you see I'm installing this app directly within the Edge browser, right? So now we've installed VMOS. If we close out the browser real quick, right here it is, is in, our, in our unknown sources, right at the top of the list, we've got VMOS. Now I've already installed VMOS before. Okay, I want to get rid of it off. Okay, so I like, like I said, I like Edge Browser an awful lot. I think it's a great browser. I think it's an, an excellent browser for VR. Although I'm a 
little confused as to why I don't have a home button. Let's go to settings. General. No. Google. Yes. And the translator can be on. Shopping. No. So the desktop site is default. Yes. Yeah, I love all this stuff. That's the only new source I get. Let's open a new browser window. I'll close the old one out. So I've got a fresh start here. This is probably how I should have been doing it. And it's it's the standard um browser. It's the standard Edge browser for, for Chrome or for Android. And I think it's just, this works really, really well. I love this too. I love that I can like make it tall and I can widen it out if I want to. You know, and, it, and it fits in the space very well. Oh, there's my home button. So if I've got it shrunk too much, it just doesn't show it. Huh? Interesting. Okay, so what's going on, everybody? Everybody chilling out? Everybody's being okay? Oh, look, we've still got this browser sitting over here. This is another advantage, too, is, you know, when you're using a, a third-party browser, you, you can open it as its own independent application alongside of uh, the MetaQuest browser or, you know, let's see, we did, we did that one. Let's do GX, Opera GX. This is one of my favorites right here. This browser is so fast. Hey! It's enough, guys. Okay, now I know there's a way to close that tab. about the GX browser for one thing is how fast and clean the overall feel of this thing is you know it, it's just it's simple and right here everything is quick it moves quickly custom home wallpaper sure if I have anything to add Fast action button, add blocking can be turned on. Cryptocurrency mining protection, block pop-ups, cookies enabled, block cookie dialogues, disabled, clear browsing. Data. Dark web, darkened web pages. Outdated system components, that's interesting. GX corner is unavailable. Your phone is using outdated components. Instant search. Open links in apps, that's a choice. I like that it's right there. Extended usage statistics, promotional notifications, we turn those off. Translation language, yup. Default search engine, yup. Yeah, so it's got a lot, a lot, a lot of um, possibilities. And you can connect a computer. Your phone does not support my flow. Ooh! 
so we get janked out using it with um, in the quest headset but it's a fast fast browser it uses little RAM It's a bummer. So we found out one thing that doesn't work well with that one. So Opera GX works well. Um, Edge browser works great. It works great. It really does. Just out of curiosity, this is a site that notoriously does not work well on mobile browsers. Down Under. We love Sex Down Under. Alright, let's see if, uh, if that actually loads up or not. Take a minute. Have a look at good old Firefox, which I never use. So, if I miss something or forget something, I apologize. Oh no. Passed through, went into Barfavision again. Automatic. Yep, keep that at the bottom. Start browsing. Uh -huh. Okay, we've got collections. This is a fairly basic looking browser, to be frank. the home page I guess uh, last tab I like to be able to open the last tab I don't like that hole there we go there's a settings button all right close manually home page domestic China service. Hmm. Yeah, you can do add-ons. There's an external down you can you can tell it to use an external download manager. You can tell it to open links in other apps. So it's a fairly modern uh, mobile web browser. I can't really speak on how quickly it works or what. Playback error. error. It was just playing it. Big stand. We play this one. Watch it for free. We want to watch it for free. Oh, it'll play the advertisements, won't it? So yes, Firefox browser works okay, Edge browser works great, um, Opera GX is probably becoming my favorite browser for virtual reality and extended reality actually. I wish that Opera would build a, a browser specifically for the Quest 2 headset because I think it'd probably be a beast. And unfortunately, yeah, you still can't watch Voodoo over here. They've got, they really, they're really tight on their restrictions. But we watch Tubi. But we can watch some Tubi.com. I'll bet you I can start watching Tubi without logging in. Watch it now for free. Why, sure. Oh, 
Oh gee, oh my, look at that. Tubi's working just fine and dandy on the Edge browser. Again, guys, I, you know, if, if you like Chrome, Edge is probably the way to go. It's a much more fully fe featured version than using, let's say, um, this Chromium build that you can get off SideQuest. It's listed as uh, Stadia on Quest, I think. And it is a, it's Chrome, you know, but you can't sync your Google account to it. So it, it, it just doesn't work very well, in my personal opinion. I'd rather use Opera or Vivaldi. Vivaldi's great, actually. Vivaldi's wonderful. Opera Touch, I think, probably will work pretty well over here. Um, Vivaldi, look at that. Vivaldi works with Desktop Vision to bring me my my uh, computer's desktop, so I can see what I'm doing while I talk to you guys. Also, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome scale wrong really really wrong it's strange is there like a fit to screen or something here I don't remember it taking up all the space before all right so anyways as I was saying guys you can see that we can uh, use Vivaldi or Opera GX, or Opera Touch, or Opera Mini, or the Edge Browser. All of them work really great. Oh shit. No, I don't want to stop recording. All of them work great over here uh, in the headset. They're pretty, really quite, quite nice. It would work a lot better if my headset would stop with the Barfa Vision. Um, I don't know. Maybe I have too much clutter around me. My lighting situation is bad. I don't know what's going on lately with that bar. The way my uh, pass-through just goes to hell sometimes. It's really distracting. Now let's go over a couple other browsers because you don't just have to use 2D browsers or the Quest, the MetaQuest browser on your headset. There's also the option to use Reality Browser which is um, a, an XR browser. It, it, it actually uses the pass-through feature. Um, and, and it's pretty great. You might notice over here on my wall here, I have put YouTube up earlier. I was watching this. Just a minute, guys. Give me just a second here. my stuff okay here we go so um, one thing I don't like about this app is that it doesn't appear to uh, do we really got to watch the ad the whole one minute ad that sucks um, a few things I don't like about this browser actually uh, it doesn't work with the desktop vision so you can't easily bring your um, computer desktop into your space when you're using Reality Browser. It also doesn't support the TeamViewer um, uh, login. Now you can use like uh, an app like USB Webcam to create a loopy thingy with a capture card. I talk about this in some of my other videos with the Samsung Galaxy phone or another phone that supports DisplayPort um, and then that way you can have your uh, have your desktop brought in through your uh, phone's connection to TeamViewer and then broadcast it through HTTP um, oh yeah Back here, I got ChatGPT just kind of hanging out. Now again, this doesn't have hand control, apparently. I'll 
also can live without that. You can always, sometimes I just want to adjust it and not. I love this part though. This is the part I love. I love that I can just take this and I can shove it against the wall. Wherever. I can make it bigger or smaller. And I've got Chat GPT right here. And I want to say like. There are definitely things that can be better about this particular app. But it's still pretty cool. I can just pull up a browser window like this. I can drop it right here. I can make it bigger if I want to. Just take up the whole space in my room. Look at that. You can't even tell that i got a messy house now. We can almost bury the dog in this. I'll let me shrink it right back down there. Pop it on the wall. Set up something. Sexy. Very. Find some fantasy art image. Yeah, that one right there. There we go. Posted some pretty artwork artwork on the wall now. Woo! So I've got you two hanging out on the wall here, kind of cockeyed. That's the same way I put up pictures on the wall. So I say we're doing great. You know, oh, it's still curved. I mean, it works. Oh well. And I can use Chat GPT over here today. I am an AI language model and do not have feelings or emotions. I am simply a program designed to assist users with generating human-like text based on the input I receive. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, that'll be fine. So, again, um, no, I think it's because we can't open tabs on these, but I've had issues with logging into certain services. Uh, Desktop Vision is one of them. There have been a couple other ones. It seemed like I was having a little bit of an issue getting into ChatGPT at first, actually, but I've got it working now. Um, get there off the, the wall art, and, and you can just, you know, this is kind of the great thing right here, right? You can just pop browsers all over the place. Now, of course, now like we're getting really. Let's go and delete all these. Touch all of them. Delete, delete, delete. Right. Oh, and we're back into Barbie Vision again. <sighs> so, Reality Browser, pretty cool. But it's got a lot of potential. Reality, reality Browser has a lot of potential. But it, it seems like to me it's still got a lot to work uh, to go to be a truly productive, functional application. It's got a ways to go. Um, let's explore one other browser real quick. This is one I am completely unfamiliar with, so this should be fun and interesting here. It's called Browsy, the 360 browser. Okay, Browsy, press the menu button on the joystick at any time to return to the menu. Okay, but now, huh, well, here we are in Browsy, and apparently I have six. Windows that I can work from. And that's it then. And I'm not really sure what I can do with it exactly. This is 
extraordinarily basic. Twelve? Oh, that's kind of neat too, I guess. Each one has its own little thing. This is a concept, I guess. Yeah, team viewer, remote control. Sure, that one. Can I make this bigger or am I just stuck with this size? Accept all the cookies. Well, guys, I can't say that I would recommend Browsy as a browser. I'm just going to exit up out of here. Definitely lacking in functionality. Uh, there's another one that I actually think could be very promising called uh, Messy Space, which is quite an interesting app. Let's go ahead and open up Wolvik. Anyone who's familiar with Firefox Reality will be familiar with Wolvik. Wolvik, um, unfortunately, as far as I can tell, Wolvik does not do. Uh, pass through, which just kind of blows my mind just a little bit. There's no way to make it do a pass through mode. I find that very, very sad. I don't really see the point in it. Like, the, here's an environment. I get Wolvik 1.0, blah, blah, blah. Apparently, we can add our own. Don't know how to do that. I'd love to. I'd love to be able to use the, the pass through mode. As, as cool as this is, I suppose, it's not really what I'm looking for. <sighs> no, I, I really couldn't tell you what all we can do with this and what all we can't. Um, I know I can open a number of these browser windows. Three, I think. I can open three browser windows. It's a pretty, it's a pretty decently functioning browser, uh, Firefox or Wolvik. It's, it's not bad. I just don't like not being able to look at the world around me. That's kind of the point of being able to do what I've been doing for everybody is to, to be able to have an extended reality uh, situation. Same with browsing. Terribly unfortunate that you can't do more with those. Messy space, again, now this was one that I thought was kind of cool, but I, I can't even figure out how to navigate the web with it. It does have pass-through, and we can add a browser. And I can say... I guess I can search and get to where I want to go, but it does seem to me like there should be a way to uh, seems to me like there should be a way to actually open a URL straight from where I want to be.
How do I close the keyboard when I'm done with it? Full screen mode? No full screen mode. Oh, that's awful. So we got sound, no full screen. Again, this is, you know, it's a, it's a potential. And you can add a drawing board, and then you can actually write on it. Right-handed. I mean, I'm left-handed. Okay, so, uh, once again, yeah, this, this is not a bad app. It really isn't. It's called Messy Space. It, it could be a lot better. It could be a lot better, and I hope they progress with it because this might actually be better than Reality Browser in the long run. Uh, ooh, let's go to one more, bro. Let's go to one more. I think we got one or two more. We can do a couple more. Um, as far as unknown sources, messy space, Chromium, Firefox worked pretty well, right? Right? Yes, it did. Opera GX works great. Great browser works okay. Vivaldi works awesome. Opera Touch and Opera Mini, I think, are going to work fine. They're lighter ended. Uh, they're lighter, so they might even be quite a bit faster. But you might lose functionality in using them. And again, stuff like this, where it might only work in the one format here. Or not. Or it might be able to just resize it and scale it beautifully and cleanly and it does look a lot like well kind of like the other opera right uh, that's and then there's opera mini opera mini is a pretty great browser too um, Definitely doesn't like being resized. All right, so there you got it. Not all of them work. A lot of them do. A lot of them work exceptionally well. Uh, again, guys, Edge Browser probably takes the cake, followed by Opera GX. And as far as the the, the um, XR browsers, I do like Reality Browser, although I don't think you can open um, Web XR apps in it. Which again is a major bummer. Uh, you know, for basic everyday browsing, probably your best bet is going to be just the standard MetaQuest browser. But if you can't get something done or you want to install an app straight from a browser, then use Edge or use Opera GX. Don't don't go to this thing. You know, and you can. Uh, you, you can sync your Microsoft account to your Edge browser, even though you can't sync your Google, although you can log into your Google account in the browser then, and then then you're pretty much synced. But it's just, it's, it's much more advantageous. Hello WebXR, that's great, yes. Back to space, fire to start, huh? Now the biggest advantage, of course, in using um, the MetaQuest browser is probably the hybridization of it. The fact that you can literally switch from a 2D application to a WebXR app. Maybe I could have controllers that worked. <laughs> Let's try that again with the controllers active. There we go. Press fire to start. Oh yeah. Let's shoot some things. 
So yeah, this is probably the biggest advantage. Why can I not kill these things? Where's my other gun? Do I only have one gun? I can play this with an, on an Oculus Go. Heck, this is stupidly simple even though everything's... I'm definitely gonna get killed. I'm definitely not good at shooters. Come on. Alright, yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool being able to use, you know, being able to flip right into a WebXR game. Yeah, you guys aren't going to get me. No way. No sneaky crap. Yes. So we can play WebXR games. And then somehow exit out of the WebXR game. There we go. And we're back in our normal space. Now that's pretty cool. I would imagine that the other browsers, if Edge, if Microsoft, if Opera, if uh, the guy who makes Vivaldi, if they took the time to uh, add a couple um, bits of code, I'm sure that you, you could do all the things that you can do on the MetaQuest browser with one of the other 2D browsers, including opening the WebXR applications. It's just a matter of getting developers to add the bits of code that allow for those permissions. <sighs> well, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. It's been long and winding and blah, blah, blah all over the place. I need a break for a minute. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and watch some more if you've enjoyed this. Bye-bye, guys.